Welcome. My name is Paul Viertaler, and I am a university lecturer or assistant professor in the digital humanities at Leiden University. And this is an online tutorial series for learning how to code for the digital humanities. Now, this is designed to accompany my Hacking the Humanities Intro to DH course that I teach as part of the minor program at Leiden University. But this is a course that's designed for anybody who's interested in using programming to study literature history. And this course will take you from knowing nothing about programming all the way up to being able to do basic text analysis and data visualization. Now, I should point out that this isn't meant to be a general introduction to Python programming. You'll not be a developer at the end of this, but you will be able to do some very interesting kinds of analyses. In this class, we'll be using the Anaconda distribution of the Python programming language. And we're doing this because Anaconda comes with a lot of extra features that will help us do the analyses that we're interested in. So in order to install this program, you can just go to anaconda.com downloads and go down to the Python 3.6 version. And we're using 3.6 instead of 2.7 because it's much more up to date. Once you've downloaded and installed this, what you need to do is you need to launch the Anaconda Navigator. Now, you can just go into your Spotlight search if you're on a Mac and search for Anaconda Navigator and start this. Or if you're on a Windows machine, you can go to the Start menu and search for this. Now, we're only going to do this at the very beginning because we need to install an extra piece of software. But once you've launched this Navigator, you can see all of the different programs that Anaconda comes with. Uh, one very interesting one that we're not going to touch so much on, at least at first, is Jupyter Notebooks, which lets you put together um, packages of code with a lot of extra description. But what we're going to be using is VS Code. This is Visual Studio Code, and it's a plain text editor that comes with a lot of extra features that will help us write Python code. And in this program, we'll just write out plain text and save it with a .py extension, and our computer will know, hey, this is Python code. So if you don't have this installed, just click the Install button below VS Code, download it, and install it. Once it's installed, all you need to do is you need to launch it. And inside this program, you'll be able to write all your code. Here, the first time you launch it, you might be greeted with a welcome window. That's fine. Um, I've launched this before, so I open up into a blank text file. And all I do here is I'm going to write in all of my code. And when I save this, I'm just going to save it test dot py. Once I do this, this program will know we're actually using Python here. So we can see that, hey, right now we're using the Anaconda distribution of Python 3.6. So once we've written out our code and saved it, we can actually run this code from the terminal. Now I'm going to save that to the next episode, and I hope you're really excited about learning how to use computers to study literature and history. So please come back, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.